This is it, what? Fettuccine with the team, we gettin' lit, what? Got it rolled up, now who really tryna hit, one? Puff, puff, then we pass, then we pass, then we pass Well, 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 guess who's Bizak? Look who it is Back in your mouth We done returned We done returned For another go round For another go round What's going on homie? How you been? Man I'm doing good How are you? You Kinda, sure you doing good? I think I'm doing ex- excellent <laughs> You doing excellent? How, I'm doing excellent Excellent day. How are you doing? Wow man? that's a lot That's pretty good How um, your mama doing? How your I'm papa doing alright I'm cool I'm chilling I'm, I'm maxing and relaxing mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I hope so I Yeah hope absolutely so. Absolutely your, your energy seems to pit Distracted today. It's the, <laughs> don't talk about my energy. <laughs> don't. I'm just, you know, I'm just putting it out there. Nah, man. nah. Don't talk about my energy. My energy good. I'm good. It is. We, okay. we good around these parts. Cheers. We good on this side. Cheers. You know what I'm saying? Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers to, to that. that. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Back at it again. You know what I'm saying? We have returned. Mm-hmm. It's the Herbal Tea Podcast. It's your man, Earth Tone. And your man, the real PZ, holding you down with the right dose of the highest notes. Mm, mm. Quality over quantity. You know what I'm saying? Period, period. Shout out to the ladies and gentlemen and the ladies and the gentle them. Ow. We out here. <laughs> we out here. I had to do that. Episode 63. 63. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get right to this music thing that's, that we known for. That's what we known for. You know for. what I'm saying? That we do so well. Mm, period. Um, who we got? Who we bring to the table? The first one we bring into the stage. Mm. It's a new one. Newbies. You know what I'm saying? Her, I love a newbie. I love a newbie too. Her name is Kalella. 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 She has made it, you know, know that that is how it's pronounced. People would normally pronounce it Kalila. Oh, see? Or Kalela or some other no, shit. No, Kalela. Kalela. Emphasis on the second syllable. I like it. Kalela. That's her name. And it's her real name. Mm-hmm. Um, so she is a DC born and raised second gen Ethiopian um, Ethiopian American. Come on, second gen. So that would mean if if I understand it correctly, that her grandparents <laughs> are from Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. Just like I'm first gen. My my parents are born in Honduras. Got you. Period. Got you. That makes sense. Right, right. So who start, she started music young, singing in school choirs, learning how to play violin, and then moving on to singing jazz in cafes while she was in college. And she did a short stint in a progressive metal band for come a little on, bit. Come on, short stint. Right, short stint. Wow, you know okay. Right, so she eventually moved to L.A. and signed with a label uh, owned by a... Uh, DJ, DJ mm. producer Kingdom, mm-hmm. and that single was called Bankhead. It came out in 2013. Okay, and I heard that record, and that record is a banger for me. Okay, it's interesting. Put y'all on. Interesting. Get into that Kalala Bankhead, and it's on her first mixtape, Cut for Me, which came out in 2013 under that label. And then one of those songs from that mixtape ended up in a Solange Saint Heron compilation mixtape. So St. Heron was the <clears throat> label that Solange started not, you know, about 10 years ago. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And so one of the songs Kalela made had ended up there and they ended up touring. Look at that. She guested on, she ended up guesting on Solange's 2016 album, uh, okay. A Seat at the Table. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. 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 Yeah. So uh, her first EP, Hallucinogen, came out 2015. Then she did the Solange, uh, appeared on Solange's album, and then she released her debut album, Take Me Apart, in 2017, Mm. and a year after, did a whole remix album, Mary J. Blige style, had a whole bunch of artists, songs. You remind me. Yeah, yeah, she did that whole thing and remixed the whole album in 2018, exactly a year later, releasing that, and had contributions from the likes of Kate Trudzaddy. Come on. And Serpent with Feet. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of. Speaking of. More on that later. Have you heard of Kala La 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 La? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> among those collaborators you just mentioned, she also had Jungle Pussy on that thing. She sure did. You know what I'm saying? And Cupcake. She sure did. So she was out here doing she her was, thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, she's been around for a little minute. She you ain't know. she ain't no uh, spring chicken. She's not. She's been she, around. She about our generation. She so chilling. not to yeah. age ourselves. But, you know, we out here. We've been in these streets. Listen, we've been out here. We still look great and amazing. You know what I'm saying? So Fine wine in it. Period. 
Um, yeah. You like that? So shout out to Kalela. Shout out to Kalela. She has a single. Actually, she put a whole album Mm. out. She hadn't put out an album out since Take Me Apart. This Mm. is her first album in five years. So the whole album is called Raven. And the first track, which is the one we're reviewing, is called Washed Away. Washed Away. And, And it came out as a single. Uh, the same day the album was released, she Come dropped on the video. So February tenth, twenty twenty three, is when we did that. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. How you feeling? I gave it a forty eight mid. Forty eight percent mid. Okay. I gave it a forty eight mid for y'all. Okay. Okay. Listen, listen. I love the synth droney chords <laughs> that go through that shit. Oh my when god. When I first put this shit on. You not understand how crazy my weeks had been, how stressed out. I was screaming on you. So when I had, when we had decided Kalela was going to be and I put this song on, yo, my whole body. (laughs) It just went through your whole soul, huh? It's one of those. And then I heard the rest of the album and, um, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But, you know, that album is, it was set off with those drones and, her really, really ghostly kind of voice, which I dig as well. Um, but the thing is about that song is it kind of comes and then it floats right through you and then floats right away without leaving much of an impression. So I feel like it was missing a little texture. Mm. Like if she would have threw something with a deep bass on it, like at the very end... She had the sound effect of the wave and it had like sort of a deeper resonance to kind of bring a little bit more of a vibe to it. So okay. maybe she would have maybe you don't have to make it a dance song, but like uh just like a boom somewhere, maybe an eight oh eight or something with a little bit of sub in there to kind of mix up the texture. Okay. That's how I really, really felt about it. But her voice is really, really... Like, she reminds me of Solange, actually. Her voice is very soft and feathery and flowery like that. Mm. So I could see, like, how that would work on a Solange record because Solange kind of sounds like that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So yes. that was... uh The thing about that is they don't have no presence. Okay. That was my okay. only. That was my only. So, so floaty there. went through you, but like more like a cloud, like yeah, in, like a like a really. like a four twenty cloud mm. situation. Okay, okay, don't really stay. So you know that was my whole take. Forty eight mid for me. I see you. I see you. Mm. Um, it was an interesting track for me. <laughs> Mm. I liked it. I mm. enjoyed it a lot. Um, I gave it a fifty-six percent. Man, you gave it a fifty-six. Yeah, I just I gave knew it... you was gonna give it a Reggie. I knew you was gonna no, do it. No, no. Uh, uh-uh. I like this joint. Okay. Um, she was giving me all of the feels. It is the intro track to the LP. Yeah, yeah. Very ambient production. Um, a lot of space. A lot of reverbs. No drums. Mm-hmm. Um, she got like trancey vocals, trippy uh, synths all throughout. Up until the end, it did give you a little bit of an 808. It gave you like a crashing wave sound, like a boom. Yeah, yeah. And then it kind of gave some sound effects, like very towards the end. And she's saying far away the whole time. She doesn't say washed away the whole song. It's more of like a poem. It's like a, if you go to look at the lyrics, it's set up like a little, not a haiku, but one of those poems. It's very short. It's like four bars, and she just in and out real quick. Uh, Yeah, and then all she's doing is saying the trancy. It's that echolalia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she she put in the elements. <laughs> I guess it. she I guess she is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she yeah. heard the album. But um Limerick, that's the other one I was thinking of. Limerick. Uh, but it's it's short and sweet. The mist, the light, the dust that settles in the night, the hope, the longing, fade away, blurry eye. Like those are the bars. Like she's and she's singing those. Mm-hmm. Cause I couldn't exactly hear I didn't pick those up. I had to go find the lyrics. But you could feel like the the vocals and the passion and the the lyrics that she's saying. It's kind of dope. Um, but it was a little bit empty and it's short and it's kind. It feels like an intro. Mm-hmm. It's like it came and went. So, as much as I enjoyed it, it was like a little. What'd you think about the video? The video was giving me like Burning Man vibes and shit. See? Like it was in the desert. She was out there. <laughs> she had the clothes on. She was like she had the like the leather braid, the leather dreads. Wig. I didn't know what the that fuck was that fly. shit was. That shit was fly. I thought she was trying to do like knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. 
I, I was trying to figure that out. That was it, definitely and the then knuckles. She took it off and she's bald mm-hmm. and whatnot. But I was element. not understanding what that was. Predator. Yeah, she was giving <laughs> she was giving a leather dress and then she took them shits off and she had like a, a low fade. And she was beautiful. Like her face is just like She's like got perfect symmetry and her yeah. jaw bones and all that crazy shit. But the song was giving you, it give you all of those vibes and feels, but it's definitely like a set off to an album type of joint. Mm-hmm. Like it ain't really, you ain't going back to it. I ain't really playlisting it. It's ambient. I might throw it on something like, like a vibe music to set the vibe yeah, or yeah. you like tripping on some shit. You trying to, you looking at some, you know what I mean? You ate a couple things and you, you looking trying to, to see come shit. down. Yeah. You're, trying, you're not trying to overwhelm yourself because yeah. the trip is too crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's like, Audio Epson song. Yeah. What? Yo, did he say that? Audio Epson song. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. He really said that. Come on, fam. On the air. We out here. We out here. I'm not mad. We out here. Okay. But that's how I was feeling with it. 56 mid. 48 and 56. What's that? That's 104. And then we divide that by two. That gives us 52. 52. 52% mid 52 so that's what we do For doing. average Okay Shout I'm out. not mad at it mm-hmm. Shout out to Kelela Kelela I love it Alright 52 average Let's see What we got Who we got next Who do we have <clears throat> next Who's the contender Who is the contender You tell me Well I mean <laughs> Kelela We had a rookie in the building Right right And now we got an alumni We got an alumni You know what I'm saying In the building Serpent with feet Imagine that <laughs> what you know what I'm saying let's what? go ahead and get that joint on and I think they know each other I mean you just heard we just dropped them just name dropped them pretty much pretty um, much gonna go mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's the name of the joint that's coming up let's get that on um, shout out let me go ahead and get a look give a couple of bars about him so first of all we reviewed his joint same size shoe on episode 30 so you can go back and look at that we did a whole intro laid them out bye 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 Q plus artist right right um, sing a song writer Raised in Baltimore, Baltimore, be more, you know what I'm saying? Grew up in the church choir, so you already know what kind of juice and weight that entails. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to, you gotta, you gotta have a certain amount of chops to mm-hmm. grow up in the choir and be, you know, hold it down in one of the choirs. Right, right. Um, currently based in BK, released his first single, Curiosity of Other Men, in 2014. Um, featured on Brock Hampton's Tanya of 2018's Iridescent, the LP. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he also got two joints with Bjork, like just to flex on it real quick. Like he yeah, got just two collabs with Bjork. That's like, a flex right there. Bjork don't work Yeah, like, everybody. come on. Like, who is this guy? Like, yeah. what is he doing? Yeah. Um, but that's how he feeling with it. Serpent with feet. Mm-hmm. Um, ATP alum, HTP alum, of course you heard of him. I heard a serpent, <clears throat> delicious serpent with feet. hmm I had seen the video yes. of the song we're reviewing, mm-hmm. and I just want to say, I know he probably taken <laughs> oh, and shit. whatnot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a shot. But, you know, I don't mind being that bitch on the side, Listen. period, okay? Hey, man. I'm going to kick it to you. You got to lay it out how you going to give it. <laughs> That's how it goes. Shit, we grown. I, Fuck I hear all you. that. I hear you. He Fly. out here. The video was real cute, real yes. sexy. He had a nice little partner with him, his leading man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was doing this thing. He kept the same. I see he brought back his aesthetic <clears throat> from the first project, the last project. Yeah, yeah. Same like, I don't know, it's a grainy, sunny, vibey feel. A lot of like flowers, blouses, like flowy stuff. Like he, he, I like the way he bring it. And then they chilling in the, uh, the back, the pickup truck. He just laying and they cuddling like they yeah, he, chilling in Prospect real, Park. Or something. Real simple, but like yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, gonna go came out February thirteenth. Two minutes fifty seven seconds. I rock with this joint, fam. Oh, rock with this song, yeah. You rock with it. Seventy two percent loud. Wow. wow. For me. Wow. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how I'm feeling. I'm it feeling. starts underwater. Like, it got, like, the warpy, filtered out, mm-hmm. airy effect. The synth sounds are dope. Cool effects he got on his voice. Um, it's like an audio intro at the beginning. Like, he do some kind of effect with his voice. It's like a sound. It's not really a lyrics or words or anything. Um, I got slippers at his house, but we ain't got no label. Mm-hmm. We made good love on his couch, mm-hmm. but he's still not able. Mm-hmm. 
to say what he wants from me. Mm. Like he's telling you a story out here. Like he already set in the like you already know what he's talking about. What's the what's the vibe? Mm-hmm. Like right there you get the whole story from those two lines. Um you could feel the song. He wants love, but he don't want it one sided. He wanted to be mutual. You know what I'm saying? It's a two way street. If he don't feel like he wanted love, he he about it. And it, it's hurting him to do it. He wanna be there. But he going through all those emotions, so it's kind of like detaching himself, but he processing it. And that's what the song was giving. Like, he gonna, he gonna go, but like, it still hurt, and he had a process before he just up and run. No word. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like, he was, villain. I mean, he was giving all of the feels. I fuck with it. Um, I just want somebody who wants me. Like, I'm gonna go where the love is. Like, he keeping it a buck with you. And then, like, you see in the QC, like, so it's like, is he, in the video, is that where he went? And got the love, or is that the one he kind of leaving, and he gonna be leaving him to go get the love? So you kind of don't know in the video. They don't really make it clear. It better not be a breakup date be happening in the video. You just gonna sit him down, and be like, "Yo, this is what it is." I don't know. Like maybe that's the dude he went and found. Wow. Because when he he had to go, so that was where the love is. Or that's the dude he leaving. He got to leave to go get love. I don't know who it is. I don't know, but that's how I was feeling about it. 72% loud. You know what I'm saying? Um, he been crunching numbers, and it says you're not the one. Mm. I mean, he did, he crunched the numbers. Like, is that what he did? It's not adding up. Like, is, you that, not, is that what he did? I did, I did some ad, and you like... You crunched the numbers? You like number seven. For real? Like, okay. you're not the one, though. We, so, we I finna, don't know. We finna crunch numbers in a second. <laughs> I don't know. How you How you felt about it? I love the video that he did okay. and like um where he probably filmed that he probably filmed that shit at uh either Prospect Park or Fort Greene. You think so? I don't know. That looked like that was fuck. in LA somewhere. I don't know where the fuck he filmed that shit out, <laughs> but it could be whatever. It is what it is. It was mm. cute. Um I don't like the song. Whoa. I'm gonna give it a 21 Reggie. Reginald, come out. Get this song. Get this song. Get this Whoa. song. I don't a 20, like, 20, 21? 21. Because, okay, here's why. Here's why. Like, didn't we review a song off his last album, Deacon? We, I think either we same were, size shoe. Yeah, we yes. reviewed one of his songs. Yes, and that was song was all right. And then I heard the rest of the album, and I was kind of impressed with this album. Okay. okay, but the album gave me something that I didn't get with this particular record. I felt like he was he was sleeping on this song too. I mean, he was giving Sid, but you know what I'm saying with a side of like Deacon. You know what I'm saying? It Sun was shiny. It was like a hushy falsetto. <sighs> And I don't like those lyrics. Nah. Sorry, I'm going to go where the love goes. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean. It's not, I don't know. It's not singing for me. It's no. not giving. I think a hook with a little bit more, mm, a little less. It's a melancholy joint. Like sure, he, I got the melancholy. He may- <laughs> I got the melancholy on all of that, you know. But did he... Why so sad? <laughs> because he really loved this man. Oh. Like he don't want to leave, but he not giving a. He like try to. He gave him mad chances. All right. And he's just not showing him that he want to be with him. So he got to bounce. But like this is sad. I don't want to bounce. I'm sure. I'm sure. He's but he got to go where the love is. I'm, like I, he could get love. The love is here. <laughs> like don't get it twisted. The love is here. Let me, I'm trying to tell him the love <laughs> is here. The love is already here. But you didn't have to sing this song. You have to sing oh damn! So he should he should have just not even recorded the whole joint. Nah, nah, wow. nah. You could have just we could have just talked about it. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm a sh- I'll be the shoulder to cry on, and whatnot. And give me all your feels. I'll be your soundboard for like That's a couple a hot second. That's interesting. But you don't have to sing the song to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to sing all the right. song. But it is what it is. At damn. the same time, it's going to be a Reggie for me. <laughs> I love um, it. So seventy two percent. We're gonna add that up. We're gonna crunch those numbers. Crunch the numbers and see if it's the one. We're gonna crunch the numbers. I don't think it's the and one. We might. It might. I don't know. What we gave, what you gave it? A seventy two. Seventy two. We gave it reverse numbers. So, yeah. Se- well. Oh uh, no, not exactly. No, not exactly. You had to give it a twenty seven. A little bit better grade. <laughs> Maybe on a different day. On a different day. Damn. So twenty one. I was not expecting that one. And seventy two. It is a ninety three. 
Oof. Divide that by two. It's like a 40. That's a 46. Oof. That's a okay. 46. That's not bad. Okay, the last one we gave was a, was a 52. 52? 52 was... Okay, so the it looks like review Kalella. It looks like we got a winner. Kalella wins the head to head. Yes, Kalella between <laughs> Kalella and Serpent with yes, feet. Yo, with that's the song. <laughs> with the song. That's okay. the song. See, Listen. I felt something on that song, but this this serpent You got wasn't a, feeling it. Got a you ain't get bit. Away. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, listen. Well, luckily we don't gotta leave on a such a bitter note. We got really? at least a Taylor Swift I'm joint. I'm better. Okay. No, like a, a sour note. Like, because <laughs> you kind of, damn, Reginald, mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. like sour, like bad sour diesel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, We got an ally of the day. Who is the ally of the day? We got Miss Taylor Swift in the building. Shout out to the Swifties. Tay Tay. Tay Tay. Is that the name of the uh, the the hive? The Swifties. The Swifties. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you a Swiftie? She a Swifter? You know what I'm mm, saying? She got Swifties. I got a Swifter. Swift. Oh, I got okay. that. Swifter. Yeah, but I don't know about Swifties. <laughs> you don't know about the Swifters. Swifties. Swifties. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to the Swifties and Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Um, she got a new album that she just put out last fall, but then she came out and she dropped um. Some remixes for this single she, she got did. out here. So she of course did. you know Tay Tay. We reviewed her before episode um, six. Actually, she right. was a previous ally. And she's back again. Um, she was recently in the news for battling and out with Ticketmaster. So her oh. she's going on tour for this album Midnight's the LP, and the tickets went on sale and they had to crash. They crashed the site. They didn't have the demand. They, they couldn't. Broke the internet. The IP wasn't the, equipped to to take the demand or something like that. So the Swifties broke the internet. And then basically. on top of that, the bots that come and snatch up the tickets and resell them for like quadruple the price. <laughs> so it was a shit show. Love the bots. And she had, you know, she called Ticketmaster out on it. She said, we had already went through this. We asked y'all if y'all could, control, could you know, handle the demand. Mm. We knew it was going to be millions of people trying to get these tickets, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. But long story short, 2.4 million people were still able to get tickets and they go into the show. And that just lets you know it was millions upon millions more that couldn't get tickets. But the the tickets was going for like thousands of dollars, like crazy. Um, but yeah, she out here with it. So that just lets you know the demand. She's pop star status. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's out here with it. I forgot what number album this is. Oh, I don't know, man. It's got to be the 10th or something like that. That's what I was thinking, but I thought I might be like gassing it a little bit. But no, she's up there. Okay. Well, she been out here with it. Um, I mean, you know, Tay Tay. Yeah, Tay Tay. How you how you feel about how you feel about how you love we love Tay Tay. (laughs) We love Tay Tay around here. We love the Swifties and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, have you seen the video? I did see the video. The video is kind of cute. The video fly. And the video kind of made the news because the leading man Mm -hmm. in the video is actually a trans model Mm -hmm. by the name of Laith Ashley. Yep. That's a dead right. Laith Ashley, yep. Laith Ashley. And they were in a episode of Pose, Mm -hmm. episode six. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I forgot the name of the episode, but it was we were just looking at it before yes. uh, we, we started filming it. And that's dope. And I had not seen that episode in a minute, but we he point you pointed out the stripper. Mm-hmm. He was a stripper and I think he had um another a fur a little bit more of a role in the in the in the episode. Yes. Right? Sebastian was his name. Right? Okay. So um shout out to Taylor Swift for offering that platform. I mean that's big. That's huge visibility. That's, that's just one visibility. of the many things she, you know, gets noted as and, being an ally and for. These are the reasons why. Absolutely. Um so we got Lavender Haze, that's mm-hmm. the name of the track. Um came out March third, uh twenty twenty three. The, the remixes she she threw the single back on the remix LP so it's like four remixes and then it's the original joint mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um three minutes 21 seconds mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I vibe with this joint mm. it's a it's a it's a little bit of a bop for me um I gave it a 62 percent loud Ooh, gave it a loud I gave it a 62 percent loud um the lavender haze I like to play on a term so it's a 50s term and it pretty much means like the honeymoon phase. You smitten with somebody you deeply in love. Lavender haze. And then you think about lavender, you know, it's soothing. You usually put it in, uh, you like to smell it. It kind of gives yeah. common elements. Um, and then she's talking about this love that she found. 
that gives her, you know, those those sentiments, calms her down. She's under a lot of heat right now. You know, he brings her down and makes her feel comfortable at home, somebody she can open up with, speak mm-hmm. with, talk with. And it opens up with the the, the drums. It kind of gives me, like, Kanye stronger drums. Like, the na 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 don't kill me. Like, boom, boom. I was like, was she doing a, oh, yeah, a slap yeah. in the face almost? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the way it opened up, and it's just like four bars of that before it ain't no vocals or nothing. The drums just coming. I'm like, that's kind of hard. If she wasn't thinking that, I would have thought something like that just to, you know. So guess who was on one some of Petty Petty? Guess who was one of the producers on the record? Who? Soundwave. Oh, he shit. Produced uh, for Kendrick Lamar, most notably his song uh, Money Trees. And oh my that, god That's like One of my favorite Kevin That's my songs. shit So he's one of the Many producers in the song Wow and I, okay And I believe Like he's probably Providing that thump It definitely got that Thump to it That's another thing I liked about the song um, She coming in And You know She's not really she, She's she's being introverted With it She's being very Kind of self aware With the joint She's like You don't really feed Into my melancholy art like that's kind of a, a a sharp little hard little line. That's like taking a step and like I know, because that's one of the critiques I give her. Like every song is about a breakup. It's always like sad, blah 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 blah. The same note, right? Uh, uh, uh. But she does it well, and she she feeds it to you. That's palatable to a wide audience. The little, her little, the the what do you call them? The Swifties. They eat it up. They love it, right? But. She's self-aware about it. She recognizes it and she leans into it. Like, fuck it, this is my shit. I'm going to do my acoustic shit when I want. I'm going to lean into my heartbreak when I want. Mm-hmm. And you're going to hold that and, and that's who I am. This is what it is. And she and I like I like those lines like that. Um, I've been on the screw and I, oh yeah. You handle it beautifully. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, she be having her little patented flows and melodies. Mm-hmm. They still don't be crazy. They got They got certain like... It's a certain vanilla wafer to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That part. That you know part. what I'm saying? Ah. But the 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 songs that she get from the production and the way she like leans into her melodies and then the video added to it to me for me as well. I like like once I saw the video, it kind of like okay, it really full circled the story for me. I was like, I kind of like get it even more. I rock with it. It was a 62 percent loud for me. Shout out to Tay Tay. Where you at with it, man? Where you at on the spectrum with it? Shout out to the Swifties. Um, I gave it a 55 mid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm kind of on the same. Actually, not too far off. Yeah, we kind of on the same wavelength. We might be both in that lavender hazy mm, situation. I mean. <laughs> you read a lot into it. You read a lot. You got a lot from it. So um, I got a little bit of a different note. Okay. I didn't know. Okay, I guess it, it was about a relationship. So it's a bit. That's a bit obvious, but I felt that the song was about like inner peace and self assurance. Okay. So you know, and I was like, you know, a song like that could be a little heavy. Mm-hmm. So it should always sound this good, though. I thought it sounded good for a song that could get heavy like that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, resisting the need to prove to people mm-hmm. who basically will do what they say or what they do anyways, like just. Letting go and letting kind of be what, letting kind of what happens happen. Letting people say what they got to say, think what they think. But I'm going to go ahead and go with this energy, go with this love, go with that haze. Mm-hmm. That's what, what I got from it. Okay. Um, There's no urgency or weight to that, though. There's like, I'm not getting, like, it's not something I playlisted. And it's not something I kind of feel like, oh, man, it's, it's sending me. It's like giving me any kind of life. Yeah. So, but it's just a nice little bop. And okay. The, and what she did for the video, using her platform like that, obviously she always knows the right things to do to kind of represent the way she needs to represent. But this doesn't look like, it's not like she tried. It's not like it's part of her. It's just who she is. Yeah, yeah. So I get the general sense that it's genuine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. So it's definitely a bop. 55 mid for me. Okay. So we got a 55% mid. We mm-hmm. got a 62% loud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Total that up. You get what? Let me see. What's our math? 6255, that's 162. 127. 55 is 117. 
All right. Well, I mean, we ain't got no verses. We ain't tallying it up. So shout out to Swifty. Shout out to the Swifties. Taylor Swift and the Swifties. You she know what I'm saying? It. I don't know why we're giving credit to the Swifties for the music, but hey, they support, they inspire her. She do it for them and all of the other people who fuck with the music. And we fuck with her here at the Herbal Tea Podcast because she's definitely shown and proven that she's an ally. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to hold it down. And we're going to go ahead and do it because that's a wrap for us. That is for today, rap. at least. You already know. And we're going to end it. On a motherfucking high note. Like we always do. Peace. This is it. What? Fettuccine with the team, we getting lit. What? Got it rolled up. Now who really trying to hit? One. Puff, puff, then we pass. Then we pass.